How's it going, guys? Um, just a heads up. This is a very weird video, so if you guys don't want to go blind, just skip to the next video or stick around to see all this nonsense. So we're gonna be looking at the fattest person in the world. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, so I don't know if this guy, I don't, he's not the fattest guy in the world, but he did get the award for the fattest person in the world. So, uh, let's start. The average adult male weighs around 190 pounds. The average adult woman around 165 pounds. Sadly, many adults tip the scales at far more than that, as is evident by the rising obesity epidemic all over the world. Some people, however, go stratospheres beyond obesity. For one reason or another, they just get heavier and heavier until their weight slips into the four figures. The human body simply isn't meant to handle a half ton of weight. So for those unfortunate hmm, I few wonder who why. weigh or have weighed a thousand pounds or more, functional life is as difficult a goal to achieve as any other. Take the case of a Saudi Arabian man named Khalid bin Mo Hossein Shari. In August 2013, at just 22 years old, Shari made history, though probably not in the way he'd have preferred. At that time, he weighed an unbelievable 1,340... 1,345 pounds? Okay, I weigh 180. This guy is literally 1,000 to 1,200... Yeah, 1,200 pounds more than me. Yikes! Uh, if I was that fat, just just shoot me in the head. Uh uh. Five pounds or 610 kilograms, Gosh. making him the heaviest living person in the world and only the second heaviest person ever. The five foot seven Shari's body mass index was an astronomical 204. A normal BMI range is anywhere from 19 to 25. For a man his height, that equals anywhere from 120 to 150 pounds or Yikes. 54 to 68 kilos. There doesn't seem to be many details out there as to how Shari got so big, though well, it's often the result of a disease such as hyperthyroidism. It's extremely hard to simply eat so much you wind up 1,200 pounds overweight, though that likely true, played a significant role as well. Whatever the cause, Shari became such a household name he got the attention of Saudi King Abdullah. The king, clearly disturbed and worried for his subject, ordered Shari hospitalized until his weight became manageable. Of course, Good. it's not someone that size could just walk to the hospital or even climb into the ambulance. Is that a forklift? They got a forklift to pull his ass out. Like I said, kill me. His weight was so overwhelming, Shari almost literally couldn't move. He had not, in fact, gotten out of bed in about three years. Three years? Imagine being able to walk and having the capability to but you're so damn fat that you physically can't that's horrible that, that's that's horrible if i'm in bed for even a month and because i was too fat oh god this meant that when a hospital came calling, a team of over 30 Can't look people at a Big had Mac to blast the a again. giant hole in the wall of Cherie's house, slide both he and his bed onto a giant forklift, and sent him to the hospital that way. Once at the King Fahd Medical City Hospital in Saudi Arabia's capital city, Riyadh, Shari began a rigorous weight loss routine overseen by a team of 21 medical experts. Their plan worked extremely quickly, as within three months, Shari had lost over 330 pounds, or okay. 150 kilos. What's more, according to team better. leader Dr. Ayed al Qatani, Shari's heart and lungs were performing better. He had more muscle strength, could actually move I his wonder feet, why. and reported less inflammation. He still weighed half a ton, but his body responding to the medically induced, royally ordained crash diet was a good sign for the future. Just three months later, in February 2014, reports came out that Cherie had lost even more weight. By then, he was roughly 630 pounds, meaning he, he had actually lost start over walking 700 again. pounds in six months. While still big, Shari was now at a far more manageable weight, and his mobility had increased immensely. A video emerged of Shari taking yeah, his first he's steps actually in years walking. with the aid of a walker. Since then, his weight loss has simply become more dramatic, culminating in a November 27 report by Al Wait, that's him? Backed up by video footage, the site claims Shari now weighs a mere 150 pounds. Totally he went from 1,300 pounds 
to 180. Damn, I wouldn't even put any effort on that one. The appropriate for a man his height. Being that these are foreign language sites and news reports, it's possible the figures are slightly off. However, you only need to look at Shari's before and after pictures to see an almost magical transformation from a 1300 pound extreme health risk to a svelte, mobile, weight appropriate modern miracle. Perhaps most amazing of all was how the entire time, regardless of his weight, Shireen remained positive. King Fahd's medical director nicknamed him the Smiling Man for his boundless happiness in the face of suffering. And now that he's at a healthy weight and can hopefully stay there, his smile should only get wider and more infectious. While Shireen's story is among the most dramatic, he's far from the only thousand plus pound human to fight back against their weight. Take the story of Juan Pedro Franco, who essentially assumed the heaviest person alive wow. thrown after Shari abdicated it. After suffering an injury at age 17, Franco's weight began to rise and rise over the years, until reaching peak weight in October 2016. At that time, the 32-year-old Franco weighed 1,312 pounds, or 595 kilograms. By then, he didn't leave his bed, had diabetes and blood pressure issues, one of his lungs suffered blockage, and he was on oxygen all day every day. For a kid who used to be able to dance and date, it was a particularly painful rock bottom to hit. Realizing he had to do something or die, Franco zoned in on a one-two punch of diet and surgery. Yeah, His I doctor put him on a six-month diet where he would eat nothing but health. Yeah, I'm sorry, but if I was ever that heavy, just kill me. Mm -mm. Healthy Mediterranean food, but by that point, mere wholesome food wouldn't be enough. And due to his extreme size, exercise simply wasn't a possibility at the time. So in May 2017, Franco underwent a gastric sleeve operation, which reduced his stomach size by almost 80%. Six months after that came gastric bypass surgery, which made the stomach even smaller. As a result, he dropped over 500 pounds in 18 months. Wow. In February 2018, he reported a weight of 761 pounds, or 345 kilograms. He wasn't done either. The Guinness World Records, which in December 2016 officially bestowed the heaviest man title on Franco's head, Dang. reported that as of November 2018, he weighed 671 pounds, or 304 kilos. He still has plenty of work to do, thanks largely to excess fluid in his legs caused by his still untreated lymphedema. But doctors hope that by treating that and by inserting a gastric band that won't let him eat more than what can fit into a couple shot glasses. He'll drop at least 310 pounds or 140 kilos more. Even without it, Franco is feeling the effects of losing nearly half his body weight, and he likes it. For the first time in forever, he's been able to walk more than a few steps before succumbing to exhaustion. Now wow. he can walk several hundred steps at a time, lift small weights, do up to 20 squats in a row, takes far fewer pills for his blood pressure, and no longer has to be on oxygen all the time. He's at the point where he can do some of the work in bringing his weight down even further, and it sounds like he's more than ready for the challenge. If it sounds like everyone who weighs over a thousand pounds wants nothing more than to lose the weight, that's because they do. It's not a record anyone really wants to hold, and that includes the ladies. Just ask Mayra Rosales, who up until a few years ago was the heaviest living woman in the world. Thanks to thyroid issues as well as excessive eating, in 2008 she weighed 1,036 pounds, or 470 kilos. She ultimately realized she had to lose the weight, but only did so after becoming infamous for the worst mm. possible reason. In March 2008, Rosales' young nephew Alicio died from mysterious injuries. Rosales confessed to causing his death, claiming she had rolled over him and crushed him. However, police soon declared her innocent after doctors roll over and killed him. Concluded God. Alicio died from blood force trauma instead. Plus, it was clear Rosales was simply too large to have committed the crime. At her size, she could hardly move, let alone roll. As it turns out, the killer was Rosales' sister, Alicio's mother. So why would Rosales take the blame for such a terrible crime? Basically, she felt she had no life left in her, that due to her size, she merely existed and preferred to go to prison rather than have her sister's surviving children be without their mother. However, once police arrested the real killer, Rosales realized she had to lose the weight, both for herself and the children. If she could get Yikes. down to a manageable size, she realized, she may be able to take custody of the kids. And so she started treatment, and her body responded immediately, shedding 100 pounds in just 10 days. Damn. However, she was still way too big for the all-important lap band insertion, so she kept on working. Thanks to multiple surgeries and tough dieting, she managed to lose enough weight to qualify for a lap band. That plus several more surgeries to remove excess skin, bringing her total number of surgeries to 11, along with a dedicated adherence to a vegetable-heavy diet, resulted in one of the most dramatic weight losses in history. Myra Rosales, a woman who once was so heavy and immobile she couldn't even perform basic tasks on her own, who once had a hole cut out of her wall so she could be transported to court during her murder trial, and who had to be transported to hospitals in a U-Haul because no ambulance could fit her, had dropped over 800 pounds. 
She was now Damn. roughly 200 pounds, or 91 kilos, with a goal weight of roughly 170 pounds, and her quality of wow. life couldn't be better. She's still fighting to gain custody of her nephews and nieces, but if the courts realize she can easily care for them as well as she's cared for herself, then it'll just be a matter of time before she achieves that goal as well. Sometimes people don't cross the thousand pound mark due to injury or- Still, if I was that big, just, just kill me instantly. Just don't even talk about it. Like, I'm, no, no, that I, it's just the fact of, if you can't physically move because you're so damn big, why would you even live? I mean, come on. Anyway, guys, that's going to conclude for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and to stick around for more videos. Anyway, guys, see you guys in another video. Peace out.